Welcome to 18th Century Cooking. I'm your host, John Townsend. In so many different recipes, we have heard of eggs. We cook eggs with butter, milk, cheese, who knows what. How about eggs and coffee together? Thanks for joining us as we savor the flavors and the aromas of the 18th century. So there are some recipes where you just read the title of it and it's intriguing. And then the more you read, the more confused you are. This is one of those recipes. This is from the professed cook. Uh, Claremont uh, does this book in 1769. And it's, it's, a, um, it's a translation of French, a French cookery book into the English vernacular. And this one's called Coffee Eggs or Eggs with Coffee. And generally, we think about those things as two separate things, not putting them together into a single dish. And this one's strange in that it is not very complicated, but and the two main ingredients are eggs and coffee. Um, not two things I would, I would normally just kind of put together like that. Uh, make some good strong coffee. Let it rest to clear as usual. Sweeten it with sugar according to discretion. Beat up six egg yolks or beat up the yolks of six eggs uh, with about four cups of coffee. Sift it, pour this into little molds in the form of eggs or any other. Do not fill them quite. Bake them in a mild oven or a Dutch oven um, in the shapes of any fruits or birds if you have proper molds for it, either of copper or china, etc., etc. Uh, so uh, interesting. It's basically a coffee uh, the egg yolks and what sugar you add and then they're baked in little forms. I don't understand how this is going to turn out. The only way to figure this one out is to do it. So let's get started. So everybody knows I'm not a big fan of coffee. The crew here is always drinking coffee, but not me. Uh, but I'm willing to go out on a limb here and try this one out because it's just so weird and strange. Again, we don't need very many ingredients. We've got some eggs, I've got some sugar, and we've got our good strong coffee. Uh, we don't need any incredible equipment except for the molds. And that's kind of the tricky part with this one. I've got these little molds I actually made up specific for this purpose. Uh, they're little deep sort of half egg uh, shapes. And you could use maybe, well, I don't know what kind of molds you're, you're going to use, but this is, a, <laughs> this is a little mold that we're going to use today. Uh, let me get these mixing up. We're going to start off with six egg yolks already in our bowl, ready to go. And I'm going to whisk these up. Won't take very much at all. We're going to add coffee and it, it, it talks about cups of coffee, but we don't actually know how big these cups of coffee are. And uh, baking this, it seems like there's an awful lot of coffee here. So I'm going to cut this back to approximately two ounces of coffee per egg yolk. And that means that if we've got six egg yolks in here, I'm going to add in 12 ounces of coffee. Maybe their coffee cups are small. Let me tell you, this does not look promising, does smell promising to me, uh, <laughs> but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, make sure your coffee isn't too hot. You don't want to cook these eggs when you put them in. This was just kind of nice and warm, and I left it nice and warm so that um, we could still get this uh, sugar to dissolve. You can dissolve your sh sugar in first. Uh, I'm going to do it here just in this section. Again, it's the sugar is up to you about how sweet you want it. And I'm just going to whisk this until my sugar gets dissolved. This is very uh, watery consistency, but I've been fooled on uh, these kinds of things before where you think you know, what you're going to bake just will never, you know, never thicken up, never turn into what you want. And this is supposed to go into a mold and come out of it and hold its shape. Uh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't bet that from, from what it is right this second. I'm just uh, whisking it to get it uh, fully mixed, I'm not trying to whip any great quantity of air into this. So I don't know if this is the right consistency or not, but uh, we're going to start putting it in to our little molds. And it's sad, of course, that they might grow a little bit, so don't fill them all the way up.
There we go. Those are filled up, ready to go into the oven. I'm gonna put these on a little tray just in case. Uh, we're gonna put these in a slow oven. So um, in a modern oven, maybe 300 degrees or so. Uh, also make sure on these little molds that they, uh, that they release. So you'll probably wanna butter your molds even though you know, the recipe didn't mention that, but I went ahead and buttered these guys and I'm gonna get these in the oven and I'm guessing Hmm, about a half hour. It's one of those things you'll have to watch and hopefully they'll solidify up and, and do what they're supposed to do. I have no idea, but I'll get these in the oven. Well, uh, they're here, they're ready to try. I, I, uh, it took a little bit to get them to release from the molds. Uh, I did cook them a little bit longer, 35 minutes or so for these uh, because the molds were heavy enough that they took a little bit to come up to heat and put them on a little, you wanna put them on a bed of greens or something. Uh, we thought maybe spinach leaves, these are mint leaves because they're, I think it's, I think this is more of a dessert thing. I don't know. Uh, Oh, I don't know if it's time to try these or not. Um, maybe a different mold style would make them look a little, they're kind of jiggly, interesting looking. Let's try it out. Uh, okay, they, they're holding together really nicely. Well, that's probably actually pretty good. Um, let me try again. Uh, this has got, I probably added just a little bit more sugar than I might have, because I was guessing. So they definitely have a, a wonderful sweetness to them. They've got this really, really interesting texture. Soft, uh, but with, with enough body to them so that they're not, they're just on this side of, or you know, just on the firm side of falling apart. But they have this really, really fun texture to them really nice the coffee comes through so it really matters what kind of coffee you're going to use uh, and the eggs just hold that together so it's um like coffee pudding right um, but very very few ingredients this isn't really a custard it doesn't have any milk doesn't have any cream in it mm. if i had to eat coffee this would be the way to do it this is actually a, a really good fun way, simple way, to have a little dessert uh, that isn't too difficult to make. I'm gonna call this definitely a success. I like this one. As someone who's not a coffee person, I definitely recommend this one to try out. And if you're interested in more coffee, you can see this video where you can roast your own 